Parents, what was the moment when you felt the most proud of your child? There was a snowy day. I was working still in my office. I went into the living room where my son was supposed to be playing video games and couldn't find him. I searched the house. Nowhere. I went out and found him playing in the snow. He was 5 or 6. I said. Oh buddy. Please don't go outside without telling me. And please buddy. Wait for me to finish my work and it'll come out and shovel and then you can play. Double quote. Then I looked closer. And noticed. He had his little shovel in his hands and was shoveling off part of the sidewalk and he said. But daddy. If I shovel now there will be less for you to do when you are finished work. Double quote. I have a lovely son who kind of travels under the radar at school. Middle of the class kind of kid. Rarely gets in trouble. Never gets top of the class. But a really lovely boy. He loves science. And so do I. He quietly started to really expand his knowledge of it in his own time. Going way. Way beyond what they were teaching in class. At his end of year exams when he was about 12. He came top in physics. Chemistry and biology. All of the teachers were like where the hell did that come from? He won a book on the periodic table. I'm crying now just thinking about it. Love you Jack. Two days ago. Was at the grocery store with my 6 year old daughter. As we turned the corner of an aisle I saw an older gentleman. Late 70s. Who seemed to be trying to pick up a bunch of boxes from the floor. I suspect he has a bad knee because he was bending oddly. And seemed to have a hard time. Well. Before I had even processed what I was seeing. My 6 year old rushed over to him. Asked him if he would like some help. And then threw herself on hands and knees to pick up the boxes for him. And put them back in their rightful places. She is a very special little person. Really big heart. For such a little person. After hearing about the earthquake in Haiti. My 6 year old son asked to make a donation. I offered to donate for the whole family. But he wanted to use the allowance and gift money he had saved. A few months later. His school held a bake sale for a teacher whose infant had cancer. I gave him money for a cookie and some extra money to donate. He returned my money and used his own. A few nights ago while my wife and I were putting our two, one stroke two year old to bed. He told his first joke. We had just finished reading him a couple stories and singing his lullabies and he says. Knock knock. We of course responded with who's there. And he then replies with look at that fish. And bursts into hysterical laughter. It was really cute and funny at the same time. Especially because we aren't big joke tellers ourselves. My 14 year old son was afraid his father was hurting me. Never has. And came to my aid looking more scared than I have ever seen him but ready to battle his twice his size father. Really though I had a cyst burst on my ovary and was moaning and crying while waiting for the pain meds to kick in. He earned some serious brownie points. I got him the new D&D book that week and he was super surprised he didn't have to earn it in some way. Last weekend I took my daughter, almost 9, to this women in STEM thing at a local university. And there was this room where they built roller coasters out of foam tubes. Toothpicks. Tape and marbles. I wanted to cry as I sat and watched her build her roller coaster. I helped when she asked. But otherwise I just watched her face as she silently worked through her design. She tried things. They didn't work. She made adjustments and changes to her design until it did what she wanted. It was just so amazing to watch her thinking and planning and executing this design. I was bursting with pride. I was talking to the parents of H's, my son, friend and they asked me about the fight he had at school the previous week. What started it and what not. This was the first we had heard of it. So when I got home I asked H about the fight. Now. This was last year. He was 10. He said one of his friends was getting picked on and when he finally stood up for himself. The two boys picking on his friend pushed him down and started hitting him. So H jumped in the middle and fought the two other boys so his friend could get away. 
he ended up being punched in the stomach and face a few times. But he said he felt like he needed to do something. It wasn't fair that there were two boys fighting his friend. He ended up getting two days of recess detention for fighting, by itself an anomaly in a zero tolerance school, and extra homework. The school didn't contact us and he was afraid I'd be mad if he told me that he was fighting. Never been more proud of him. He took a beating for a smaller kid and then the punishment silently. When my son got his first girlfriend I had to pick her up for a date with him on my way home from work at the town library. So I asked him to describe her so I would know roughly who I was looking for. He said she was taller than him. Wore glasses. Had straight black hair. A blue backpack with a squirtle Pokemon clip on it. Couldn't find her when among all the other kids there so I just started asking around. I finally found her and realized he left out one huge factor that would have made it easier. When I saw him I said. Great description. But would have been a lot easier to find her if you mentioned she was black. Comma we are super crazy white. His response was oh yeah. I forgot about that. I just thought it was awesome that the fact that she was black was not something he even thought about when deciding he liked her. It's been almost 5 years. Fear still together. Answering for my mom because she loves to tell this story. My grandma was abusive and she and my mom weren't close. But my idiot father still invited over to meet me when I was 6 months old. Not seeing much choice. Mom let her hold me and I screamed. Bloody. Murder. Mom said it was the loudest and longest she had ever heard me scream. I was a very quiet baby. Mom took me back and I immediately stopped and smiled. Then idiot father handed me back to grandma dearest and I started screaming again. They tried this back and forth three more times before she got fed up and stormed out. Mom says it's the first time she was ever truly proud of me for something I did. And not just regular new parent I made this proud. My daughter is 21 so there are many moments to be proud. She's in her third year of college studying pre-vet and was on overnight duty in the horse barn watching a mare that was due to give birth any day. After a week of sleepless nights in the freezing barn the mare finally gave birth while she was there and because it was middle of the night she got to help the vet with the delivery. We spoke the next day and she showed me some videos. She seemed so capable and confident and happier than I'd seen her in years and after some angsty teenage years I knew she'd grown out of all that and that she found her purpose and everything was going to be alright. I have tears in my eyes as I write this. My daughter is almost 4. Last summer we were at her best friend's house. Her best friend is a little boy. Let's call him Jimmy. Jimmy is already a total bully at age 3. I think this is due in large part to the fact that his mother pushes him to be aggressive because she herself is very pushy and wants him to get his way regarding everything in life. Anyway. We're at their house on a summer day. The kids are running around and playing. At some point. Jimmy fills up a bucket full of cold water and announces that he wants to dump it on my daughter's head. She says no and he chases her around with the bucket full of cold water. She's fast and athletic. He's chubby and not athletic. So she gets away. Fast forward 30 minutes or so. She's playing in the sandbox and he sneaks up behind her and dumps the bucket full of cold water on her head. She stands up. Turns around. Picks up the bucket from the ground. Looks him dead in the eye for a good 3 seconds without breaking her gaze and then throws the bucket right at his face. He cried. Of course I admonished her and told her we dod hit and apologize and all that jazz. But inside I was like. That's right girl. Defend yourself. Don't take that bully's shit. Double quote. This morning my son woke my wife up and told her I need to take my meds now. He's too. Five years old. Was diagnosed with epilepsy this week and today was the first day he had to take his meds on mornings too. We told him about it yesterday evening. It might be a small things to others. But it's huge for me. Here's a kid who never. Never. Never ever has taken any medication willingly. Never. Did I say never? Because it's true. We explained to him that he really needs to take these meds even though they taste absolutely horrible. 
he hasn't figured out yet that you don't actually have to chew them. Comma but he not only takes them but tells us when it's med time. When he is kind. I was cleaning out his backpack. I found a profound poor award. The award his elementary school gives out for good behavior. It said. On. Date. Kid. Approached the swings and found that they were all taken by the kids from the ASD class. While they were swinging. He talked to them and played with them. And pushed the ones who couldn't get swinging on their own. He asked me if he could bring a pad to school. Um. Sure. Why. He said that one of the girls in his class had started her period and she didn't have a pad. And it was embarrassing. So he wanted to make sure he had one in case that happened to another girl. We were driving. It was cold. He saw a panhandler who didn't have gloves. When we stopped at the light by the panhandler. I heard his window roll down. He said. Hey. Sir. When the guy walked over. Kid handed over his own gloves and a dollar. Now I buy dollar store gloves for us to hand out. Close bracket. My son is 5 and my daughter is 3. They sleep in separate bedrooms next to each other. They used to share a room until recently. And have been adjusting. My daughter didn't want to go to bed and was whining a bit in her room. I was on my way to check on her and I saw my son sitting on the edge of her bed. He was holding her hand. He leaned down and hugged her and kissed her. He said I know you have to sleep alone now and you're scared but I'm just right there. It will be morning soon and he walked out. I was amazed at his compassion for her. Super proud. Not my kids. My adopted grandkids. Refugees from a corrupt and violent third world nation. 1. The girl arrived with almost no English. Very shy and entered school mid-year. She won three medals by year end. One was for the most helpful and compassionate student. Two. The boy. Older. Was having trouble adjusting. Got a first aid course as part of a keep him occupied plan. A month later he was at an airbnb party that. Of course. Got out of hand. I had told him if trouble started he was to get the hell out and come home. Not only did he call the cab. He rounded up several other kids who also wanted out. That's not the proud moment. The host began seizing and puking from alcohol poisoning. My kid sent the other kids to wait. Went back to administer first aid. Called the ambulance. Accompanied the patients to emergency. Supplied all the necessary info. Returned to the party. Now crawling with cops. And brought all the waiting kids to our house to be safe. He's still having adjustment issues. But I knew from that moment that he was going to be okay. My son is 8 years old. He's got a huge heart and he's so thoughtful. One day my wife had some nursing friends over to study for an exam and he set all kinds of snacks out for them. Then he went outside with an umbrella when he heard one of the girls was close to the house and just waited. When she arrived. He met her at her car and escorted her in. We never asked him to do that. Later around lunchtime I was upstairs watching TV and he brought his lunch up with two forks and wanted to share with me. It was his favorite kind of food too that he doesn't get to eat very often. I told him several times throughout the day how proud of him I am and what a good man he will become. I'm tearing up just typing this lol. I got a call he was in a fight. Wife was out of town. I get there and find out he was sticking up for a kid being bullied. The kid was sitting alone minding his own business and a dickhead started up with him. My son tried talking then walking away. Didn't work. There was a kerfuffle. Zero tolerance policy so he gets in school suspension. Even the VP was like we have no choice. I basically told my son that yeah he's in trouble with the school. But you and me? We're good kid. Nice work. Other parents were another matter. Some people can't accept the fact that they raised an asshole. I haven't been a parent very long, only 5 years, but the proudest I felt is when she started reading. My kindergartner went into the school year only able to read her name and a couple sight words, A, and, the, which is normal, around the holidays. 
she picked up a flyer sitting on our kitchen table and started reading it out loud. My wife and I shot each other a glance like are you seeing this shit? Pretty soon she read the whole thing. It was some Christmas party for kids. So nothing difficult. Then she did the cutest thing. She looked off in the distance and goes hug. I can read. Then put the flyer down and galloped out of the kitchen. My wife and I laughed and hugged and had a mini celebration. We just ran into her teacher last week at the store and she said your daughter is reading at a level E now. Which is about a year ahead of schedule. We're so fkin proud of that little monkey. Does it count if it's a story about my baby brother? And I and our mom were super proud of him? I went away to school at 19. My brother was 12 at the time. And I went to a media arts school where I was learning how to make digital art for video games. When my baby bro found this out he thought it was super cool. But my grandmother was threatening to disown me for wasting money on something useless and would say that if I didn't come home immediately I was dead to her. My little brother was with her when she started going off about me again and he stood up for me. According to mom he pointed out that I graduated from high school with honors and an associate degree from the dual enrollment program. And if doing well in school and following my dreams was worth being disowned over then he hopes he does well enough in life that she disowns him too. My grandmother was that person that everyone in the family seemed to revolve around and well and dare disobey even if they didn't agree with her. And the fact that he stood up to her from my sake made me feel super proud. And I know mom feels the same. Our beloved family cat had to be put to sleep. Due to timing and bad weather coming in. We had to take her to be put down and then go bury her while my husband was at work. My daughter loved this cat so much she had her picture on her birthday cake two different times. Now. At as a 10 year old girl. She bravely stayed with me and petted KK as the vet did the final injection. My son. 12. Chose not to be present because he wanted to remember KK as she was alive. I respect someone who knows their limits. I was very worried about getting the grave dug before the bad weather set in. And my son said. Don't worry. Mom. I'll take care of it. And he did. He single handedly broke through the hard ground and got it done. That was an awful. Hard day. But my kids both stepped up and supported me even though their own grief. I have a picture of them by KK's grave that I treasure. I like playing Fortnite and my 4 year daughter has been playing a bit lately. Kind of conflicted about letting her play it but she doesn't play it much. She doesn't like the battle royale version where everyone kills each other because she isn't very good at it but the other save the world version where you play with other players against computer opponents. She likes chopping down trees and finding chests with rewards in them and winning all the stuff at the end of the levels. Anyhow I was watching her last night and she built a fort to protect herself from the computer opponents. Like literally 4 walls and then edited a door into one so she could get in and out. She's going to be running rings around me soon. I loved video games growing up. Some of my fondest memories are playing Mario with my sisters. We were sitting in a restaurant that sort of spilled out onto a broad sidewalk along a shaded avenue in a nice village known for being beautiful and relaxing. It was the sort of restaurant where the entire front of it opened up like an accordion when the weather was good. My wife and I were sitting at a table near the front with our eldest son. We were talking and having a nice time considering what bottle of wine to order. My son was focused intently on something out near the street when he got up and ran out onto the sidewalk and crossed the street. To keep this somewhat short. He ran across the street to take over for a police officer who was trying to help a woman laying on the back seat of a car who was in labor. She gave birth before the ambulance arrived. Our son always wanted to be a doctor and we were proud of him when he achieved that dream. Seeing him in action. Seeing the responsibility he assumed to help people. That was one of the proudest moments of my life. My daughter was 3 or 4. And as the dad I am. I like to try and confuse her with puns and word games. As a joke we taught her that crocodiles go tick tock because of the clock in their bellies. She watched a lot of Jake and the Netherland Pirates at that time and thought that was great. Fast forward a few months. 
and were asking her what sound does a dog make? What sound does a cat make? What sound does an owl make? Then I ask what sound does a crocodile make? And she answer laughing. Tick tock. Tick tock so I followed up with. What sound does a clock make then? And she though for a second before coming up with cuckoo cuckoo. My wife just turned to me and go she got you there yeah. My 3 year old just bested me in a battle of the wits with that one. I was super proud of her. I'm not sure this counts. But I have an objectively cute baby who smiles a lot. She brings a lot of joy to strangers. Once I was in my church building and this elderly lady who didn't speak English well saw baby girl and came over to say hi. Baby girl smiled like she does and this lady just broke down. She was at the church getting financial support and counseling for some hard stuff she had been going through, I gathered, and she kept calling my baby her angel. She was crying and smiling and took a picture of herself holding the baby and had me take a picture with my phone of her holding the baby and so on for like 20 minutes. I get that baby girl was just doing like she always do. But I was so proud that she had brought happiness into the life of someone going through a hard time. It occurs to me that this is probably how owners of therapy dogs feel. While in third grade, my son got into a fight with his BFF at school. Initial reaction. Oh no. Not good. WTF. Then I heard the story from the principal herself. The boy and his BFF are walking around during morning recess. They come across a kindergarten boy. The BFF notices that the kindergartener is Asian. He begins to taunt him. My son asks him to stop. He keeps going. The kindergartener begins to pout. The BFF continue to make racist comments. My son demands that he stops. He keeps going. The kindergartener begins to cry. My son punches his BFF square in the face. The taunting stops because the BFFs begin to fight. I couldn't be mad. I was impressed. My daughter is 9 months old. Today. She did the jazz hands when I said wave hands. Comma. She slapped her hands on the table when I said slap slap. Comma. And she waved goodbye to my wife when I said say goodbye. For the first time. Repeatedly. Deliberately. I cannot describe how this makes me feel. It's a little person my wife and I made. A small. Helpless creature that's growing every day. Growing smarter every day. I guess pride is one way to put it. My son was on the swim team at 8. He was good but absolutely could not stay in a lane. He kind of meandered from one side to the other. I was behind a guy and his wife and the bleachers watching a race and of course my son took off on a diagonal. The man says God. He's awful. But look at that little bastard go. I said to him. That's my little bastard and he's the best one in the pool. The guy turned bright red and apologized but I was okay. I knew right then he'd give life his all but he'd always do it in a slightly weird way. And he has, and I'm proud of him. My dad passed away a month ago. I was wondering how my son would take it. He is 8 and they were very close. At his funeral people were speaking about him and my son told me he wanted to talk to. I was really nervous about what he would say to a crowd of strangers. He's never done anything like this. It was spur of the moment and I couldn't say no. He was the last speaker and the only person that was talking impromptu. He was fantastic. Everyone since said he was the highlight of the service and delivered the most important message. I'm so happy my brother recorded it after he realized it was a special moment. I was so proud of my boy and I know his granddad would have been too. One of the proud moments was when my son was nominated for a special school award. He was nominated because in the morning he walks the preschool and kindergartners to class and asks each one how their evening was. When he gets them to their class he talks them that he hopes they have a wonderful day. My daughter has become friends with a boy with autism. She walks with him to specials. Lunch. And recess. She takes him under her wing and helps him when he has a bad day. I've got some of the most kind-hearted loving kids.